Professor Madhuri Ephraim. And he appeared before Lord Chaitanya, just as uh, when Krishna, before Krishna appeared, when Brahma went with the devas and the earth personified to the shore of the milk ocean, then Krishna, uh, or Srila Lakshay Vishnu, indicated that Krishna would appear, but before that, his associates would appear to make way for his lila. So similarly with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, some associates appeared before him in order to prepare for his lila. And part of his lila was to taste the confidential moods of Srimati Radhika, and part was also to distribute Vajra frame, and particularly Gopi Manjari frame. So Madhavendra Puri was sent in advance, and he carried this mood. And then uh, this mood was uh, bestowed upon his disciple, Ishwara Puri, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his lila accepted Diksha from Ishwara Puri and thus inherited this same mood. Of course, it is coming from him because he is the root of it. So Madhavendra Puri was always absorbed in this state, as Srila Buddhadeva was saying. He was absorbed in the state of feeling himself as a Manjari maid servant of Srimati Radhika. And in this way he was wandering here and there. He had a vow that he would never beg alms for, from anyone. So sometimes he would go for several days without eating. And only if someone approached him and offered him something, then he would accept. Otherwise, he would never request anyone. So one time he was wandering in Vrindavan. Uh, in this state of ecstasy, always remembering Krishna. And also, he avoided, he always stayed alone because he did not want to uh, come into an association of others and then have to engage in mundane talks. So, he would uh, walk absorbed in chanting and remembering Krishna's Leela. And forgetting whether it was day, or whether it was night, or where he was going. So, he was wandering in this state in Braj, and had eaten for perhaps two or three days. And then, a beautiful young boy came to him, and he brought a, a pot of milk, in a, like a clay pot, and the boy was uh, very immediately attracted his mind. So, Madhavendra Puri was astonished because he is not attracted to anything in this world, always absorbed internally in meditating on Krishna. But when he saw this boy, this boy completely captivated his mind. And he was wondering, why? Why am I so attracted to this boy? So, the boy, he brought this pot of milk and he, he said, My dear Sanyasi, I see that you are, uh, you, are you have been fasting. So I brought this pot of milk for you. So he said, how did you know I was fasting? And the boy replied, well, uh, the, the village women, they, they have noticed you wandering here and there and not taking anything. And in our village, we don't allow anyone to go hungry. So they have given me this pot of milk and they have requested me to give it to you. So Madhavendra Puri accepted and he drank the milk. And then, at the next moment, the boy had disappeared, and he was not able to uh, find him anywhere. So, then he went on chanting, and uh, chanting through the night, and then, at a certain point, he dozed off. Of course, even in sleeping, he's not actually sleeping like us, but always uh, meditating on Krishna and remembering Krishna's Leela. After the boy, I so, in the dream, or in his dreams, the same boy came to him again. And then he understood that this boy was Krishna. And in the dream, Krishna said that, I have been waiting for you for a long time. Uh, because at that time, the Muslims, they were ruling India. And the Muslims 
they attacked many of the temples and destroyed many of the deities. So the Pujaris, they would sometimes, if they got warning that the Muslims were coming, then they would uh, take the deity and they would hide it somewhere in order to protect it. So the de uh, this Pujari he had hidden the deity of Gopal in a dense forest and then had fled for his life. So this boy Krishna, he came to Madhavendra Puri in his dream and he said that uh, I've been waiting a long time for you. I'm hidden in the jungle and uh, you please rescue me. So when Madhavendra Puri awoke from the dream, then he was, he was actually condemning himself that, oh, this boy came to me. Krishna actually came to me directly and I could not recognize him. So then he gathered some of the townspeople, or the village people rather, and they took knives and uh, machetes and whatnot, and the forest was very dense, so many weeds and branches. So they cut through the vegetation and then they found the dog and they found the deity of Gopal. And then uh, Madhavendra Puri, for several days performed a uh, installation ceremony for Gopal. So on, on top of Dini uh, Govardhan, on some slab of stone there, they placed the deity and many Brahmins were called there in order to perform the, uh, the Jagya and the Puja. And also Madhavendra Puri called for foodstuffs to be brought from all the, all the neighboring villages. And so a great amount, a great quantity of foodstuffs were prepared. And then they were also performing Abhishek, bathing the deity, like we did yesterday. Uh, so this was going on for several days. But the deity of Gopal had been, uh, for a very long time, had been buried in the earth. And of course, India is very hot, especially in the summertime. So, Gopal again appeared to Madhavendra Puri in a dream and he said that in spite of this Abhishek, this bathing going on for several days, still my body is very hot. So you please go to uh, Jagannath Puri and you get sandalwood paste. Uh, Malayan uh, Chandan there, a very famous sandalwood. So this is a very long way from Vrindavan and at that time there was no planes or trains or uh, anything like that. So Madhavendra Puri, he went everywhere on foot. So it was a very long journey and there were many obstacles to face because the Muslims were ruling at the time and uh, they, there were so many different uh, like border crossings and whatnot. So, Madhavendra Puri uh, took up this journey and when he got to Raimuna, which is not so far from Puri, there is one deity of Gopinath there. And this deity is a uh, very famous deity and they, they used to offer cure to this deity. And this cure was renowned all over. So Madhavendra Puri, he was thinking, that if we can offer this type of gear to Gopal, it will be very nice. So when he was thinking like that, it was as if he was desiring to sample the gear in order to uh, be able to prepare it in the same way. But at the same moment, he chastised himself because he considered that, oh, I am desiring to taste uh, the, the cure of Gopinath. Uh, before it is even offered to him. So this is very sinful. So now I will have to fast. And he gave up his idea to taste the cure. And he just simply went in the, uh, in the village and was chanting. But at night, uh, Gopinath appeared in a dream to the Pujari and said that I have hidden a pot of cure. They offer cure to the deity. And he said, you did not notice but I had hidden one pot underneath my cloth. So you should go and find it there. And then after that, you should find this sannyasi, this devotee, 
Madhavendra before you, and you should give it to him. So the Pujari got up, washed himself, put on fresh cloth, and then went on the altar, and indeed, underneath the cloth of Gopinath was a pot of this sweet rice. So thereafter, this Gopinath became known as Kirchora Gopinath. Gopinath was stole, or the thief Gopinath, who stole sweet rice for his devotee, Madhavendra Puri. So, the uh, Pujari went out afterwards and he was falling all over. Uh, and finally he found Madhavendra Puri. And then he gave him this uh, sweet rice and he said that Gopinath has stolen this for you. You are so fortunate, you are so beloved to the Lord. So, Madhavendra Puri was uh, appreciating the mercy of, of the Lord, the mercy of his dear Lord. Yet at the same time, he was thinking that by the morning time, this story will be all will be spread all over, and then so much praise will come because people will be saying, "Oh, what a great devotee this person must be that Gopinath has stolen here for him." So he left that place immediately, not wanting to be praised, and he carried on uh, with his journey. And then finally he arrived in Puri and he got the chandan and also uh, some uh, camphor to mix with it and it was very heavy so he got two other persons to help in, in carrying this uh, yet still they were having to do this whole journey on foot and carry it on their backs something like uh, 80 kilos I think so as he was uh, making his way back to Vrindavan then Gopal again appeared to him in a dream for the third time. And he said that uh, if you simply go to Ramuna again, to Gopinath, I am not different from Gopinath, or Gopinath is not different from I. So if you go there and you uh, prepare this sandalwood for Gopinath, then I will be completely satisfied. It will be the same as if you uh, apply it on me. So, uh, Maravinder Puri did this, he returned to Raymuna, and of course there he could not escape the fame which was coming to him, being such a great devotee of the Lord. Uh, but the Lord um, also did this to, uh, to show the glory of Maravinder Puri, uh, and also to relieve him from having to return all the way to Braj with the Chandan, and also to show that he is uh, non-different, all his forms are identical to him. So, I'm going to stop there. And... You know that Madhavarindra Puri was a disciple of any sannyasi of Madhavacharya Sampadaya. Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. Nityananda Prabhu was also a disciple of the same Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was initiated by Ishwar Purisha. And he took sannyas from Keshav Bharti in Kantapunaga. In the same way, Madhavendra Puri was ordinarily disciple of Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. And after that, when Lakshmi Pati Tirtha passed away from this world, he wanted to take Shannam's renowned order. But his Buddha was not there. So he took Shannam from anyone of Madhavendra Madhavacharya line and his name was Sampuri. I don't Vishnu Puri. And he became sannyasi. Understand? So he was Madhavendra Puri. If anyone can have a argument, a doubt that if he was in Madhvacharya Sampradaya, they are all called Tirtha. 
But how we can we, we can fully or oh, also in Muslim Madhvachar denied some teeth and some puri also. So he took initiation first from Lakshmi Pils and after he passed away, he took renounce order from Vishnu Puri. He was also a very learned person and very high class. From whom he took initiation Lakshmi Pakti Tirtha. They were in line of Madhvachari and they were devotees of Bal Gopal. Bal Gopal, you know? Yes. And also in the same time, they would use to work to worship Narayan as that. Lakshmi Narayan. Actually they were worshipper of Lakshmi Narayan, but they used to worship Bal Gopal. They are all established to the earth like that. Narayan. But this Puri, in the same line, he was in the line of Gopi's mood. Vishnu Puri. And he has written some books, very good books, about this. In the line of Gopi Prem. So he was not Tattvavari, who Marmandra Puri was. But he was as a Gopi mood devotee, pure devotee. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to <coughs> initiation one of the disciples of Madhvendra Puripad, that is, that is Srivad Ishwar Puripad. In, in his last career, which he that he was always waiting, waiting. Oh Krishna, where is that? Where is that? Always. Observing this, all the dating, crying bitterly so much. Hmm? Hey Deva, hey Daita, hey Bhuvanai Kabando, hey Krishna, hey Chapala, hey Karnai Kasindo, hey Nath, hey Ramana, hey Nayana Apiram, ha ha Padam, Bhavita Apiram. Like Srimati Radhika, this two strokes of Radhika. But in the middle way, middle time, there was none who can recite these uh, slopes. And in the same mood like Radhika. After a long time, Madhvarindra Puri became like this, like Brajapain and Gopishan. He, hey, hey Deva, hey Deva means you are worshipable. That's all beautiful. I cannot forget you. Though you can forget us, and you have gone to Mathura, and you have so many beloved there. We are Dwalini one, only one. Dwalini, you know, go okay. We are not so much beautiful as. Mathura, device of Jadavas. We are not so much beautiful. Not we are. We are not so much. We are no so much quality like that. But we cannot live without him. We will die without him. So hey, they, hey, they. They means. Beloved, you are my beloved. But why you left us and went? Why? If you are calling us to Vrindavan, I cannot go there. We cannot go there. Why? Oh, you are so many beloved there. What is the use of our women in Mathura? There is your father, mother and all are there. 
and we are so happy with them, we don't want to disturb them. But you are our life, the Indra, the Indra, so much we love him. Hey, Deva, hey, Deva, hey, Dwari. Then, oh, I told wrong. You are Mathurana. Hey, Mathurana. Oh, now you are the emperor of Mathura kingdom. You have left Vrinda. Because you used to go to cow herds without umbrella, without any shoe, nothing. Without appulence there. But now you have become Mathura Nath. So why do, how you will remember us? That is shameful gopis. Not qualified at all. We cannot make garland like the omens of Mathura, the Kesoris of Mathura. They can do so. They can start with you well. Mathura. When you will return? When you will return? And sometimes thinking that, oh, Krishna has come. And taking like this. Understand? Come here. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra. No. And that one. Oh, you Krishna? So when do you come like this? Kalava Lukasi. Hadam. He nath, he raman. He nai nath. He nam. Ha ha, kodaran. Ha ha. So, beautiful meaning of this is slow. And always remembering and always waiting. Once is one disciple came there. You know that it is the Puri power, serving all day with same mood as he was. Always serving in all ways, giving Mahaprasadam, making him bath, serving him in all respect. But another sister was also decided, around Chandra Puri. He came he there and he told to him, that why are you with your relation? Every dance orders and nasi should not be. He should think that I am Brahma. I am Nirvishesh Brahma. No love and affection for anyone, even for his body. Nothing. He should be wrong. So why is that going that Atom's Madhur Puri, Madhvanda Puriva, told his all disciples, take him and get him out of my assembly, my husband Puri. I don't want to see his face again in my life. And he was driven out. And he gave his all modes to Ishwar Puriva. You have heard that how he was renowned, that he never read anything to anyone. He knew that Krishna will arrange everything. When Krishna took some milk in a pot and went to Govardhan, that his mother and Puri was always observed waiting, rolling down on the earth. And he gave, Oh, my mother has seen you. You have not taken anything for four or five days and you are hungry. But you don't beg to anyone. So my mother has sent me to give this milk to you. You should take it and I am going. So, and again I will come and I will take a return this part. Martha and the Puri. Martha and the Puri was hearing, but giving no importance. But his three words, 
and standing God in three threefold and said, who is this boy? In my whole life, anyone, any boy, any girl, any wife, any woman, any person, I had not shot me in the whole world. And in my whole life. But how did he challenge me? In what a position? In a mood he is standing three four. How beautiful. Though he is black, how beautiful. And how sweet words. I have never heard any sweet words like this. And he was doing like this. His I, I, I lips were nuts. Always. And that boy turned him at once. Oh, he may know me so quickly. Oh, my mother will leave me so I am just going and he returned him. And he did in a such a move that Mother Lepore took him in his heart. After that boy went and he was watching, chanting. But now no <coughs> interesting chanting. What are you looking at? Who was that boy? Who was that boy? Who was that boy? What he did? He went. The boy went and he was watching the way path. With so much time went, but he was always Remembering that. Who was he? he was. In the meantime, he a sleepness, some sense of some sense of sleep came, but not so deep. And he saw in it very beautiful sand was. And what he married. From this Madhendra Puri, Ishwar Puri Pathe, not one day Ishwar Puri Pathe, the roots of Bhakti. Madhvendra Puri is the whole tree. And, not whole tree, and, and three, uh, nine roots were Madhvendra Paramananda Puri, Ishwar Puri, Brahmananda, uh, and so many. Nine. Nine. Adhaita Chant was also one disciple of Shem Madhvendrakuni. Also, Bhakrishna Pandit. Uh, what? The Guru of Gadadhar Pandit. Pundari Pandyamidhi. All men in this line. Not only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not luckily Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Ishwar Purika. Or knowingly they went in this line. So this line is genuine. Now some are doubting. They are the uh, messenger of Kali. Spy huh? of Kali. You should not trust them. So we should like to be a devotee like Madhya. Today is also Jesha Karimpya, Akarim's day of who was he? Srinivas Acharya. He was disciple of Gopal Bhatta. He was in a very astricoted Brahmin family. And for bringing childhood was so learned person in Sanskrit and Bengal. Heads. And he was so honest and good character person. He first went to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, Radhadhar Pandit, in Navadvi. And when he started from his village, native place, when he came nearer to Navadvi, he heard that Mahaprabhu has left this world. And uh, all his Advaita Acharya, as he has 
Then they become the soul of the He has started to go for Jagannathi. I will meet Radha Pandi. I will meet Sarup Namodar, Raghunath Das and all others. Shikhi Maiti, Madhuri Devi, Maharaj Pratapurutra, Sarvam Bhattacha. Very eagerly he was going. But when he was in the way, he heard that Radha Prabhu has disappeared in the Munke uh, Sok Mahaprabhu uh, of separation of Mahaprabhu, Radha Pandi. And he has entered in the deity of Gopinath, Tota, Tota Gopinath. He heard that Sarp Damodar has now. He heard that <coughs> Raghunath Das Goswami has gone to, from Jagannath Puri to Vrindavan only to die. He will go there and he will jump in Jamuna or he will go to Govardhan and from there and thus he will die. But he could not. Rukshna from Septim and he began to live in Ratha. I am doing so much high class of bhajan there, you know. Suruparagnath Pade Rahu Moraj Rathmanaya Parishada Suruparagnath Suruparagnath Pade Krishna Das. Okay. So, <coughs> Prabhu, after that, he returned and he came to Vrindavan. And he was so much upset what to do. Mahaprabhu and all his powers happened. And he made when he came to Prayag, he heard that Rupa and Sanatam both had left this world. Now he was weeping so much loudly. And he always went to Vrindavan and he shall met with Jivushami. And Jivushami kindly kept him with him and began to give him association and all teaching all Shastra to him. In the meantime, Narpan Thakur and Shamanun also went to Vrindavan and all were to the school of Jeeva Goswami. After that, when they were so much measured in all kinds of class, Jeeva Goswami told that, I want to give you all the books of Ruk and Sanatan and of myself and all other books. And you should take it in a Buddha of God and go to Bengal and preach all over Bengal. Because now Bengal has become devotee-less. Just to preach there very strong. So, all the books of Jiva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Pujya Dinmani, Bhakti Goswami, Sindhu and all books, and all books compiled by Jiva Goswami, of Chaitanya Chaitanya, every, all the books were given in the court. And two, three protectors, gods, were going, and three boys, oh, Narakam Chakru and Srinivasi was more elder than both. And they used to serve him and to obey Srinivasacha. In the meantime, when the court was nearer to Bengal, in a very dense forest, some dogheads came and their astrologers told the astrologers that they have a very precious jewels, jewels in the car. And then the king of the dogheads, Hamdi, was a very dangerous dogheads. He at once followed with his followers. And anyone who had they were sleeping anyhow, taking rest because they are all tired, in the midnight, quickly they took away, stolen the corn. And when they went there and saw that what is there, oh, only books, books, books. Oh, these are papers, not of any use. 
bogus thing. But they can speak out there. In the meantime, when they awoke and they saw that, oh, where is God? And they were doing like this for and waiting so much. Shri was told that he has to return to Bengal and I am he is searching and after taking books I will return. Otherwise no. So Shamananda Prabhu and Lord from Satu went there and they took, gave some letter to Jiv Goswami and others that books have been stolen. But in the meantime, Sri was searching here and there like a beggar boy. One day he anyhow he went in the council of king. That is Jigambi, the commander of commander chief of all the doctors. And he saw that in his council some priest, Brahmin, was uh, reading Srimad Bhagavata and explaining. Oh, I it think it seems that this king, the king is very religious and boss and he has some bhakti with Krishna. So I should anyhow mix with this and I should please him and then I will search. When the Harikatha explanation of Bhagavata was finished, Srinivas as a boy of only 18 years and he stood up and told to King, O oh King, I want to explain the same slopes which he has explained. I think oh, he had not explained well. And then he began to explain. King told that I want to hear your explanations. And all were so lovely. So he began to. For Madhupakita Vapando Master Shangri Shapatna this. And he explained in this such a way the separation mode of Radhika and Gopi and Krishna. Himself he was breathing so bitterly. And all the co counselors began to be. And he explained three, four hours. And quickly then passed after three, four hours. When he finished one day's row, and then king himself with his all counselors went in and fell flat on the Lord's feet of Srinivasa. Oh, how beautiful it is. We want that you should initiate us. We are all searching of a very pure, bona fide, qualified guru. I see that in the whole world. I cannot have a guru like you, you are one of us. I have never seen a person like you, so one of us. He told that I can, but you will have to give some Dakshina to me, otherwise not. If you are taking Harinam or Dekhar and initiation and not giving something donation, not donation but Dachina to Gurudev. And eh? that Diksha will not be successful. Initiation will Guru will not never want anything. But we should do. Short and if you are from the child you cannot give, then we should give yourself, your body, mind, soul, <laughs> And if you rehearse that, yes we are in. What is so precious? And this will be useful for my Gurudev. That's what he So, he told, the king answered that I know this thing. I will give you anything you like. Then he told, I have and lost a full of books. And very useful, well, like more than jewel, jewel, hallelujah. So if you can give me this donation, then I can. King began to smile. So how did you that these books are with me and how can help? And he again fell flat on the Just now I am giving you. 
before initiation and after initiation I build myself, my kingdom, my whole family, everything for it. And then at once he ordered that, that Bula calls the Shiva. Brought here with, and it was full of books. Oh, and books then. Srinivas Pandit held fire and doing pranam to all the books like if they are Jiva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Krishna. There was the explanation of Sanatana Goswami, Vaishnava Goswami of Bhagavatam, Jiva Goswami, Lagu Vaishnava Goswami, and all the books of Srila Rupa Goswami, Ujjwal Nenmini Bhartaya Swami Sindhu, all the books of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Sandarbha, all the Sarsandarbha were there, Sarsambhadi and all the Gopal Chambu, all. And he began so melted. He told that you have given me life. Then he initiated, not only him, his wife, his children, and his uh, all ministers, counselors. And king gave his heart, mind, show and everything to him and your eternal life. And he never disavowed in his whole life. We see in these days that you have initiated anyone and he will give you everything and next day he will go to another guru. Shahjiya guru or any other guru, Brahmavadi guru, he has And he will give him the tell, oh kindly come to me. I will not come. So, now there is a very big problem and that is why we are not having Krishna. Right? No bhakti theology. So we should try to follow Srinivas Chaitanya. And then he took all the cards and went to uh, St. Gauss, nearer to Katwa and then Sham, Shamanand and Narottam Thakur were also called and so many were called and in our whole Bengal, even to Assam and everywhere, Manipur, Hathi was preached. He was so a scholar. When he used to explain Srimad Bhagavatam, waiting, waiting, and Krishna with his all beloved gopis, they used to come and meet us. And he was a very beautiful Kirtaniya. And he has so many rag and ragini and eh? melody. And he used to play on Vardanga as if he would quickly jump. No, no, you know. Also, Sri Masanjaya. They have some. Ran, eh? Manohar Shahi and Garan Nati, Manohar Shahi. Somebody based from Raj Ragini. Raj Ragini, you know, that. Tare Gama Pala Nisa and then Tani Dhapa Magari. When Krishna used to sing in Pancham, in Pai, then Gopi followed and they used to sing in seven. And Krishna had no tune there. <laughs> and then Krishna used to tell, oh, sadhu, 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 I cannot do like this. So, his one of the daughter was named Hevlata Thakurani. He became a preacher, very, very famous preacher. He, not, he was perhaps married to anyone. And she was a very famous preacher. So many disciples they made. And thus he was famous. He was married, Sri Master. But even Asyamananda was also married. But Narupam Thakur was not married. But all used to give the same respect to three 
and when they give to me together, like bosom brother, like what? We should try to follow them and to be devoted like them. If you are falling, only one percent even, it is enough for us. So you should be strong for our own. I have given, I have come here only to sprinkle this, their mercies to you. You should not be away. Never doubt anything in bhakti. Only you want to, you should, you should try to be your akhand prem, akhand love. Oh, only to Krishna and devotees, not to anyone. Don't for to any fraction. Then you will be a pure devotee. Go, Brahma. Today it will be some play. Not today. You are not ready. Then any question? Yes, so announce their name. Andrew. Andrew Wainwright. Oh, Abhinanda. Abhinanda. Abhinanda Vikas Prabhu. Yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sudanandan and Anand Mohini, how love each other. Both are independent, but though both are they have given all kinds of no, freedom for Anand Mohini. She thinks that, oh, half his mind or fully is his husband. And another one, same like. I also, Buddha Prabhu, how they are living so peacefully, helping each other and giving each other so much facilities. Our uh, Shingar, Krishna Kanta, and oh. How beautifully helping each other. No problem, I have heard anything, only problem. How we can have the mercy of my Gurudev? Hmm? Giving everything to Gurudev. And also, artist. Damodar Prabhu is here. I thank you all. So I am so much happy. I want that all to be like. They have nothing to eat, nothing to do, anything, only serving me, serving me. I want that devotee to be like Madan Mohan and Vishaka. Also, devotee should be like Madhav Pandit and Nagarini. They are jewels. I want that they should be like this. If householders. And if not householders, oh, very good. To be like Raghunath Das Kushma. <laughs> if you are not householders, yes, Premper is this one. I want that all the devotees who have crossed 35 and they have. They are not uh, with their wives. That would be like Prabhupada Das Goswami. 
When they are thinking so much here and there, what are their problems? Hmm? What are their So, don't make your problem, problems. If you are married, all very good. Each other helping, like what I told. That's it, Nirgun Prabhu in? Also in a steady asam. What name? Pripalla and his wife and children. Whole family like this. They have never told me any problem. Only problem how we can serve you and Krishna. There no um, any requirement, no worldly desire or anything. That those who are householder, they should be like them. Like Srinivas Acharya, uh, Shivas Acharya, Shivas Pandi. Like Srinivas Acharya also, like Shamananda Prabhu, householder. Why all these things? Only problem should be that. How, where I can have Krishna Darshan? Only this, nothing else. And the eight, <coughs> we are like no work, no wife, no children, nothing. Then we try to be like Ramnath Dasmuk. How one of that? How? What are the teachings of uh, Prahlad Maharaj? And what are the teachings of? Raghunath Das Goswami, a recipe from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Arshavut Dhamudar. Can you compare? Can you compare? What I told? What, I, what is my question? Compare. A compare a study should be given. We think Prahlad Maharaj's life and Raghunath Das Goswami side by side. <coughs> what is Prahlad Maharaj? This should be the non question. That evening, being in house of family person, never wanted anything from Krishna. Never. And always seeing here and there in East Day. And everything, in everything he used to see his East Day. <coughs> And helping so much to demon boys and all to be a very bona fide devotee. His teachings are like Brahma Gyan. Bhakta also, but nearer to But he was true to Devi. Uttam Bhagavan. <coughs> So, <coughs> he was Gyanic Bhakta, but not Gyanic. There is so much difference between Gyani and Gyani Bhakta. Can you tell something? Who is Gyani Bhakta and who is Gyani? Why do you see so much for? I will have to take a danda, danda, you know, stick, bamboo stick, very long. 
Is a bhakta whose bhakti is mixed with Aishwarya's that means the knowledge that my Ishtadeva is God. No question. 